let's go over total external static pressure method. Here we have an air handler straight from the manufacturer. It is attached to a return plenum, return grill and filter, supply plenum with grills. Those did not come from the manufacturer and they create resistance against the blower inside the air handler. The blower can only handle so much static pressure. We know that because the manufacturer gives us a static pressure blower chart that comes with the machine in which we are not to exceed. We're going to measure the return static and the supply static against this air handler and then reference to the blower chart. Let's go over the equipment we're going to need. We're going to need a manometer. In this case, I'm using the DG8. We're going to need a static pressure probe, a hose. We're also going to need the blower chart that came with the equipment. We're going to need to make sure all the equipment is clean. Let's talk about how this manometer works before we get into this demonstration. You'll notice we have two ports on the manometer. The first port we're using as a way to take measurement inside our ductwork. The second port is the reference. So the DG8 is currently in this room. So the room is a reference to our measurement in the ductwork. What does that mean? That means when we take a measurement inside the return ductwork, the pressure is going to read negative. When we take a measurement inside the supply ductwork, that means the pressure is going to be positive in reference to the room. Both of those measurements, whether it be negative or positive, is still pressure against the blower where the blower has to contend with. We're going to combine those two measurements and reference the blower chart. Now let's get into the demonstration. Let's turn the fan on, allow it to get up to speed. We'll go ahead and take that static pressure probe. We will put it into the return ductwork against the direction of flow. And we will read our negative static pressure of about 0.3. We will then put our static pressure probe in the supply plenum against the direction of flow. And we will get our static pressure of 0.2. Okay. So we have a total external static pressure on this air handler of 0.5. We're going to take that 0.5 and reference the blower chart and see how we look. We have identified our model number. We have also identified that we're running speed tap T5. We have now got our measurements, so we know we're running a 0.5 total external static pressure. Now when we bring these data points across, they will meet and that will tell us we're running 800 CFM. Let's get into the pros and cons of the total external static pressure method. Okay, let's go over the pros. This method is cost effective. The equipment needed is minimal. It's a fairly quick method to accomplish and it's recognized by ANSI ACA ResNet 310 for grading airflow and new HVAC installations. Now let's talk about the cons. An OEM fan table is a must to accomplish this method. If the equipment is dirty, this method will not provide accurate results. If you have turbulent flow, it can be difficult to get accurate readings. And when you're referencing the OEM fan table, one must determine if the coil is wet or dry, as this will play a factor in the results. For a more detailed view of this method, please check out the step-by-step -step tutorial. Mm -hmm.